morning everybody welcome back to my channel today i'm going to start off the day by going and doing a little bit of grocery shopping i'm not doing like a huge thing like we usually do but we are missing a few little things like eggs avocados we need some fresh stuff for salads also mainly because this week i have so many recipes that i want to share with you guys when i took that like filming break we cooked so many things that i'm just like oh my god i want them again a and b i want to film it for you guys because you guys need to try these freaking recipes like so damn good so that's how we're gonna start off the day i just got ready and now i'm having a little apple cinnamon fruit and green bar these are like the best little breakfast things ever and i 100 percent need to eat something before i go grocery shopping because i will buy way too many things and today's a day where i should not be buying a lot of things so we're gonna try and eat so i'm not that hungry <laughs> it is actually disastrous in here you guys i had my photo shoot yesterday and when i got home i just threw everything down so this needs to be cleaned up so bad the bedroom is bad there's just stuff everywhere so all of that is definitely going to be tackled a little bit later but for now i got some ish to get done first i definitely want to get grocery shopping done and out of the way before i do anything else so shall we do an outfit of the day Michelle. Alrighty, this is a t-shirt dress from Princess Polly that I got a while ago, so I'm not sure if they still have it on their website, but it's like a cool dress with like little pockets in it. It is a little bit shorter on me because I put it in the dryer. I probably shouldn't have. I'm okay with that. I don't mind. I'm just wearing some white biker shorts underneath. These are from Amazon. And then I just recently, <laughs> am I cool and trendy now? I got um, Nike Air Forces and I got the little Nike socks and I'm just obsessed with the way that this looks with like so many different things. So I finally caved in. I've been looking at them for a while, but yeah, I finally did it and I love them so much. They're really comfortable. I've been wearing them all morning while I've been just doing my morning stuff and like trying to break them in and they're like really comfy if you are curious i am usually a women's size five and i got these in a kid's size actually i always get kids because they're just cheaper and they fit me so why not oh how am i gonna let me go look at the box. So here is the size that I got for youth and they were like $80 versus I think the adults are like a hundred, maybe a little bit more than a hundred. And then in the socks that I got, I also got a youth three to five and they fit really good. So I buy kids stuff because it fits me. So why not? My earrings are from Amazon, a little Amazon set. Bracelets are from Miranda Fry. And this watch is from Movement. It's a little bit big on me. I just have to get a link removed, but um, obviously everything is still closed here in New York, so I have not had a chance to do that yet. But it's not that bad. I honestly don't mind it that much. It's kind of like a bracelet watch, you know? And I washed my hair last night, but I slept with it wet, and now I just could not be bothered to style it. I just threw it up. I actually did partner up with Movement for today's video, so thank you so much for working with me. I am so excited. If you've watched my channel for a while, you know that I've been wearing their watches for a really long time. You might have seen me wear this one. This is a one of my favorites it's just a very simple tan leather band like so simplistic their whole brand is very minimalistic which if you guys know my style you know I like very clean simple things I don't really wear a lot of patterns a lot of colors so their brand definitely fits my aesthetic like very well if you aren't familiar with movement they're obviously a company that sells watches um, they don't only sell watches though they have sunglasses they have jewelry as well it actually was started by two broke college kids that really wanted nice chic looking watches but they couldn't afford the high expensive ones so they started their own company which i really resonate with you know i'm i guess you could call me an entrepreneur like i really like um you know having my own brand and like working for myself so i think it's really awesome that two college kids could go and start up this whole amazing business like i encourage you guys to do what you love to do because you never know it could turn into like an amazing business for you you know what i mean it just reminds me of how i started youtube like i was just like i'm just gonna pick up a camera and just try and then it turned into like this beautiful literally career for me and they were just like we want affordable watches so we're just gonna start it and then it turned into this it's just like so awesome if you guys are familiar with watches they can get very very expensive and these are definitely way more affordable the watches start at 95 dollars, and you're getting a really high quality product i want to show you some of the watches that i recently just got i'll have all the styles down below as well this one that i'm wearing right now is kind of like a chained gold style and it's got the rectangle 
face, not like an average circle watch. So I think that this one's really different and cool. And then you guys know I couldn't go without my black watch. This is black and gold. It's got the leather band. This part here is made out of stainless steel and they're water resistant, which is amazing. I love the combination of black and gold. I just think it's like so sophisticated looking, you know? And then this one here is more of like a rose gold kind of color and it's got like that bendy kind of strap, very high quality. And it's just very, again, simplistic, minimalistic. And that's only a few of their styles. There's so many on their website. I also love their packaging. I just wanna show you guys this because I'm a sucker for packaging. So it's got this slip on top and then it comes with this amazing box, super high quality. You can reuse this to like organize stuff. And then it comes with like explaining about their company. It comes with like some accessories depending on which watch you do get. I just feel like people around my age, I guess you can say millennials, we really resonate with brands that, you know, are aesthetically pleasing on Instagram and their website is clean. You know, it makes us want to shop there more. And I feel like movement has got that down pat like you guys, their Instagram is nice. I'm a little jealous of it, not gonna lie. If you guys are interested, I will have the link down below. You will get 15% off with free shipping and free returns by going to movement.cc slash Alyssa dash Rose. That's M-V-M-T dot cc slash Alyssa dash Rose. I'll have it up on the screen and in the description for you guys to easily click on. And just so you guys know, that link will automatically apply 15% off during non-sale periods only. So I hope that you guys check them out and get yourself something nice. You deserve it. Alrighty, I have got my purse on. I really want to get a new one this one is like tarnishing it's from old navy and i've just had it for a while so i want to like get a really nice purse i'm thinking about investing in one because i'm not a big person that changes my purses so if i just invest in one really nice like black purse that can go with everything like i like something that's a crossbody easy i'm not a girl that will hold like little dainty cute purses you know what i mean like i need something practical so maybe i'll invest in a really nice one and just have it last forever because i buy so many cheapy ones and then like the metal the gold metal on them just ends up turning so if you guys have any suggestions if you've like bought yourself a nice purse let me know because i would like to get a nice one that is kind of similar to this like big enough to hold my camera and like other little things but also a crossbody but simple i've got a lot of things to check off okay we're leaving let's go Okay, this is actually perfect timing because I know you're not supposed to like reuse these that much, but we had them sitting in the sun and we used them like a few times. So I was gonna refresh and use a new mask and I cut a new piece of filthy to put in it, but I just got a Boohoo package in the mail. I actually had one sitting outside and they're supposed to pick it up, but I feel like they don't really look and they think that it's like a package that was delivered to the house that just hasn't been brought inside. So they haven't taken it in like two days. So I'm just gonna go drop it off at the post office because that needs to be returned. It's been a while. But the package I was trying to return was like different sizing and I had ordered like new sizing and stuff and it just came. I remembered that not only did I get different sizing, but I also got this. I got a black marble mask. Oh my God, who's styling through the freaking grocery store? Me, isn't that cool? I've already got lipstick on it. I can put my filthy filter in here and I've got an awesome mask. It just sits inside the mask and it's so comfortable. That is amazing. I wasn't even gonna buy a mask, but when I was checking out on Boohoo, I saw them for like super cheap. So I was like, why not get a cute one? Cause we're gonna be wearing masks here in New York for a long time, so. I'm excited about that. And then I, of course, grabbed a few other things. We can, I can show you guys that in a little bit. But first, let's drop off this package first so that I don't drive around with groceries. Let's get ish done. This is exciting. It feels like my old vlogs when we would run errands and like could leave the house, you know? Mission number one. Oh my God, look how funny that girl's face looks. <laughs> Sorry, girl. Return boohoo package. Here we go. Done. Completed. We're hand sandy. On to the next. Destination number two, ladies and gentlemen. We are at Lidl. It's so much better when Zane runs errands because I get distracted on my phone and I sit in the car. I just love sitting in the car. Does anybody else? Like, even when I get home, I just sit in the car. It's like so bad. Very therapeutic for some reason. I was gonna bring you guys in, but I just feel like it'll be easier not <laughs> and not spread germ onto my camera. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Oh, goodbye. I'm just gonna go in for a few things, she says. All we need is X, Y, and Z, she says. $220 later. Sending me into the grocery store is like sending a kid in a candy shop. It's like not okay. It's 
problem. Is it just me or when you breathe in a mask, it makes your throat dry? Like that whole time walking through the store, I was like, oh, water, I need water. So if you guys want to know a funny story, Zane and I, like, we talked last night and we were like, he said, you know, you don't have to go to the grocery store to spend so much money. Like, you can just go to the grocery store for a $30 thing. And I was like, I know, I have to get that through through my head. Hello? I have to get that through my head, like, that I can just go to the grocery store and just get a few items. It's okay. Like, I always feel like I have to stock up for some reason. So we made a list, which a lot of you guys still ask me, how do we share our notes? At the top, there's, like, a little guy and you just hit the button and then you send it to their... Um, phone number it's very easy anyways at the bottom of our grocery list he put $30 with exclamation points he's like just so you won't forget so we're gonna call him and ask him to come help take this stuff inside baby hi baby what's up are you in the shower yeah oh no why you're on yeah I need help with the groceries all right I'll try to finish up quick Okay. All right. He didn't care. He wasn't like, why do you need help? How much did you freaking get? All right. I'm just going to start breaking everything in. Immediately when I realized that my cart was about to get full, I was thinking of the TikTok that's like, don't do a girl. You shouldn't do that. And she's like, I ain't going to do a girl. Don't worry. She's like, I did it. <laughs> so I'm going to try and make a TikTok about me going to the grocery store because it's just, that's just me every time. <laughs> Making moves, trying to get away from this life I'm living. Same old things every oh my day. Gosh, I'm sweating up and down those stairs. Whoa! Okay, we're gonna do this a little differently. Instead of pulling everything out, putting it on the table, and then showing you, I'm gonna pull everything out, put it on the table, and show you while I'm doing it. You know what I mean? Also, Zane did say, Baby, what did you say when I walked in? <laughs> What happened to a small grocery trip? <laughs> he did say something. Baby, come come see what I got though. You're gonna be very happy. I guarantee it. Okay. Usually when I put everything on the table, I do it in categories like frozen meats, veggies, and stuff. So this is just gonna be random because we're just gonna be pulling stuff out of the bags. All right. It's gonna be good. Ready? Let's start with the bang. Okay. Ice cream sandwiches. We love them. Okay. Turkey burgers. Veggie burgers. They had my veggie oh, burgers. Oh, nice. Asparagus. Chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream. So far. Green onions. An eggplant. Oh. For eggplant farm. <laughs> Beef burgers for our open face burgers. Nice. Cheesecake. Sorry, I'm not, not showing you guys. More asparagus. More asparagus. This cheesecake. cheesecake. Oh my god, the last time we Dude, got that. 500 for two slices. We one, one. No, I know. Finally found our Philly cheesesteak meat. I've nice. been missing that. Look what else I found. Oh, your crab, crab sticks. Crab sticks. Boring. Mixed veggies. Look what I found! Oh, sweet. Low fat Yo. buttermilk. And they only, they didn't even have regular buttermilk. They just only had low fat. I was like, perfect. Our chicken game is changing. Baby carrot, which I'll actually eat this time. Yes, I will. Because I've been into my veggies. I'll eat them. Dip them in ranch. Baby carrots are the bottom three worst vegetable. Agree or no? No. I wonder, do people generally like carrots? Am I weird for not liking carrots? Or do people like usually not like carrots? No, I think carrots? there's a lot of people that don't. Oh. Uh. Italian chicken sausage. Garlic. Jalapenos. Tomatoes. Nice. We got bigger containers this time. They didn't have the small ones, so. Oh, we love them. Avocados. Oh, I got this for you. Creamy almond butter. Oh, shit. Egg whites. Onions. We go through onions so quick nowadays. Two things of salsa. This is for tomorrow's barbecue. We got coleslaw and oh, yeah. we got macaroni salad. I got these for you for your drinks. Sick. Limes and lemons. Perfect. Cottage cheese, because I'm going to make eggplant parm again. So good. Pepper Jack. Fire. We got this Highly last time and oh, I forgot to get Ritz though. We're running out, aren't we? Or we're out. Yeah, I think we're like. Damn it, out. I didn't get Ritz. I don't even think they have them there, do we? Do they? They probably have some oh. sort of cracker. Okay, we can grab them. Shredded moths. Diet Coke. For okay. you. Orange juice. Plates. Plastic wrap. Whole wheat flour. Ooh. It's for certain recipes. Did <laughs> she get excited about the flour? Yeah, it's different. Potatoes. Give me some potatoes. See, it's like all stuff that we're gonna use. See, that's what I was looking for. <laughs> Pineapple juice. Pineapple juice. Make some cool things with that. Croutons. Go to. Highly recommend. <laughs> Half of this shit is for you. You know my snacks. Never Good. have enough olive yeah, oil spray. Ooh, what happened? I'm done for you. We're not gonna make our own mix. We are, but sometimes these, these you... are probably bomb. Mm -hmm. Not better than my homemade. I, I'm gonna take your recipe and call it my homemade because I made it the last two times and it came out just as good. How is it yours? I just stole it. Oh. Black pepper? We needed this? Yeah, in our shaker. Sweet sausage? 
Yum. Oh, more of this sausage. Hot sausage. Ground beef. There's a recipe that I'm gonna make with that. Nice. Turkey pepperoni. Finally had our ribeyes. So I got two of those, you want them. Salami. Yes. And I got fresh meat. I'm gonna make bomb sandwiches. Also, yes. And oh, then, let's go. I also got these sirloin steaks because those carne asada, carne asada fries that we make were to oh, die, sirloin, to yeah. die for. And we can freeze those, so. Oh, and I also got this because I couldn't find pancetta, so I just got thick cut bacon. And Dude, I love bacon. I haven't had bacon in similar. so long. Yo, I can't wait until everything opens up properly and I can go with you. Why? You're excited? Yeah, I'm well, shopping did, with you. I did good though. <laughs> I did good though, no? Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, you did really good as if I was there. I'm proud of you. I, that means I got a lot of shit for you. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Spinach. Eggs. Needed those. Here's what we're having our lunch with. Is that a fresh roll? Fresh. I forgot what they're called, but I got them last time. Oh, these. Oh, they're so damn good. Oh, this is the fancy. And you know why I wasn't going to buy them? But then I walked past the bakery and they must have been it? they must have been just cooking something <laughs> fresh. And I was like... These are for tomorrow. Don't touch them until tomorrow for the barbecue. Chocolate chip cookies. Wait, what? Are we going out or it's here? No, we're going here. Oh, I thought she mentioned something like at a park or something. Oh, she wants to go to that park and walk, but not tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to do a pool day. Oh. Tomorrow's going to be 80. Oh my God, I have to just not eat anything today. We're just going <laughs> to drink water. Free for all tomorrow. <laughs> egg noodles, because I haven't had those in a long time. Oh yeah, I miss egg noodles. Feta cheese. Reduced fat feta cheese. It's so good. Oreos. God, you know me so well. I'm getting brownie points right now, guys. This is for me. You know, I had some of this while you were gone one time, oh, and it's so good. So damn good. This is um, Lidl's organic olive oil, sea salt, popcorn. Oh, it's just so good. And then I got these for tomorrow as well. We'll bring chips and dip. Oh, I also told her that we would bring a thing of buns, and if we don't use it, we can just freeze one. Okay. Oh, I wanted to try this one. So the last bread that I got last time was just regular white bread. This is Italian bread, but it's the same amount of calories, and I assume that it'll probably taste a little better. More, mm -hmm. fa more fancy, you know? Yeah. Uh, romaine, arugula, bananas. Bananas. Wait, so you're making a sandwich now? Can I have a banana? Yeah. Yo, these are almost ripe already. LaCroix? I think they are red. Sorry, I don't know how to pick bananas. No, that's that's good. That means oh. I could have them now. Usually you have to wait. Mm. Nice. And detergent! Woohoo! My favorite one out of all of it. Yeah, it's a solid haul, babe. I'm proud of you. Right? Like everything we needed. I, don't, I wouldn't say need, but... Yeah, definitely not need, but... All will be useful. Yeah, for sure. I'm excited about the bun roll. I know, me too. I, I want to make that tonight. Wow, look at that, you guys. That was so much easier to do the grocery haul like that because now we can just put it all away. Oh my God, I'm so hungry too. All I had was that little apple cinnamon bar. I don't know how I'm surviving right now. That's why I got so much stuff. I ate you one know. apple cinnamon bar, yeah, and I was like, this will make me not hungry. No. Before we put anything away, we're going to make sandwiches. I love this bread. The last time I got it, it was so good. I can't remember what it's called, but it looks like this. It smells so amazing. Oh, they have a fresh bakery at Lidl, and it's just everything and more. So I'm gonna show you how I make this really bomb sandwich. First things first, we're gonna slice our bread right in half. All right, then I'm taking some fresh deli meat. This is golden roasted chicken. Very similar to if you guys have boar's head near you. Is that just a New York thing? I'm not sure. But boar's head oven... Um, what is it called, babe? Oven roasted? Oven roasted chicken, yeah. Oh no, ever roast. Ever roast chicken by Boris Head. This is very similar to that. Okay, so I'm gonna fold up a few pieces on each roll. I'm just making these like really hearty sandwiches, so I'm literally using this whole bag of meat. This is like a half a pound. You totally don't have to, this is optional, but I'm gonna put a piece of salami on each. Next, I'm taking a mini avocado. These have been my favorite discovery because Zane and I never ate like a whole giant avocado. These are like the perfect serving size. This one's perfectly ripe too. I actually think I'm gonna put it under the salami so that when the salami goes on top, it kind of holds it in there so it doesn't just slip out when you bite into the sandwich. And then put the salami right on top. Perfect. Some arugula. This is already pre-washed. This is gonna be a thick sandwich. <laughs> okay, beautiful. Now we're gonna take light mayo. Don't be shy right on the other side of the bun, but don't close it yet. Right onto that mayo, we're doing some salt, pepper, some onion powder, and garlic powder. I made this sandwich recipe up all on my own, and I'm proud of it. It's so delicious, so if you guys try it out, let me know. It's very simple, but it's got a lot of flavor. I mean, I'm just saying. That's a fancy sandwich right there. 
Alright you guys, it's been a little while. The sandwich was bomb. I put all the groceries away, cleaned up, and tidied up the kitchen a little bit. I brought all the stuff from the photo shoot inside, so now I can unpack it in here. Most of it has to go into the laundry anyway because it's like sandy, but besides the point. Um, we're gonna make dinner, well I'm gonna make dinner in just a little bit. But first I wanted to not leave you guys hanging and show you what I got from Boohoo. My lips are really pink too because my lipstick has since come off and I just can't be bothered to get up right now and go put it on. So we have hot pink lips. I wonder, can't you like tint your lips? Because I would definitely do that because mine are too damn pink. <laughs> Anyways, if you watched my last Boohoo haul, um, I got these and they were just the wrong size. So I grabbed them in a smaller size. So hopefully they fit now. They're like these chunky sneakers, but they've got like these tan colors and then a black patch right here and they're white. Just really cute cash. They would go cute with what I'm wearing today actually. Can I wear Nike socks without Nike shoes though? Is that weird? I want to put both of them on and look in the mirror because I might not like them but they're definitely like dad chunky sneakers. <laughs> I might be getting a little too trendy but we'll see if I can style them with anything. I wear simple stuff so I don't see why not. But you guys already saw those. Also the last time I got stuff from them I really enjoyed their shoes. All of their shoes that I got I loved. So I saw these and I was like let me try them out. They're kind of like wannabe Birkenstocks. I just thought they were cute. They're like white with like the cork look on the side. All their shoes are like so comfortable like so flexible. Usually like more cheaper affordable shoes are like stiff you know these are like nice and they're like soft love and they fit perfectly again impressed i think they had these in black too but i just wanted to grab white because i have a lot of black sandals i also just have way too many damn shoes in general like i don't know what's wrong with me i can't stop buying shoes next i wanted to try these out these are tonal tie-dye relaxed joggers and they're like a nude kind of jogger they seem nice they're very thin they're not like um plush on the inside they're just a thin material but that's good because it's getting really hot here so these could be really cute with like a little white crop top i'm actually wearing one today <laughs> Something like this, like just pair it with like a nice white crop top could be a cute look. I actually really like that these are thin. These are going to be cute. If you guys watched the last haul, these are different. What the heck? What? That is so strange. I mean, I'll still wear these, but that is strange. Okay, those cream tannish shorts that I got, pinkish shorts that I got in the last video. These are them in black, but they're completely different. What the heck? So confused. I mean, they're still cute, but not what I ordered. All right, lastly, I got this set. It is getting hot here in New York, but we also are having our rainy days still, so I feel like things like this is good for like a rainy day. It's a little cropped, kind of color blocked gray and white top, and then some joggers to go with it. I feel like that's gonna be really cute as well. This is like nice and thin too. Okay, and that's it for Boohoo, but really quick I wanted to show you guys. I'm so excited about this. So I got this from Amazon. It's a knife sharpener and it's just like this little thing. Skinny Tay showed it on her TikTok, I think, or her Instagram story. And you sharpen your knife on these little things and it like sticks, it's like has like a rubbery bottom so it stays on the um, countertop. And since I got those good knives now, I wanna keep them in pristine condition, so. This was like $6 on Amazon, I'm so excited. That is all then, that is all. Okay everyone, it is time to make some dinner. These are the sandwiches that I told you guys about in I think my last vlog. We made them off camera when I was taking a break from filming and they're just so freaking good that I wanted to share them with you so bad. Also, I just wanted to make them again because they're just delicious. So, with that being said, the first step that I did for this recipe is I had to marinate the chicken. And her recipe calls for chicken breast, which is what we did use last time. But this time we just had chicken thighs thawed out, so we figured why not. We just cut them into pieces that we can put on a sandwich. So, you can really use whatever the hell you want. But, we have them marinating in some buttermilk that was um, whisked with salt and pepper. And... Don't skip this step because this is what made the chicken so juicy, so delicious. It literally tasted like a fried sandwich from a fast food restaurant and you make it in the air fryer. It's unreal. So if you don't want to use buttermilk, you can also use heavy cream. That's what we used last time and it came out amazing. So anyways, I have that marinating in the fridge still. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to make this slaw that goes on top. I made this in one of my last videos when I made tacos and I put it on top of there and it was just as scrumptious. And if you see a little gremlin behind me, Taylor's here. <laughs> okay. Time to make some slaw. Let's do this. I think I showed it in my last video, but I didn't like talk it through. I just like showed it. So I'm gonna talk you through step by step. Here we go. Look at my fancy olive oil dispenser. That is so pretty. You squeeze it and it oh goes up. Oh my God. Yeah. yeah. I, I can't wait until I get a 
house and you can just tell me what I need. Yeah. And I can just get it. Yeah. And then, I, you know what I was thinking today? It's so weird. When I have kids, like, you're going to have already, like, done it. So, like, you can just tell me what to do. Like, tell me how to parent. I think you and Imani might have kids before us. That's not happening. <laughs> The vinegar that she calls for in this recipe is red wine vinegar, but I only have white wine and it's what I used the last two times that I made this and it tastes completely delicious. I don't know if it makes a difference in the taste, but it tastes good. So we're doing two teaspoons of wine vinegar of your choice. Two teaspoons of olive oil. I have my cool little olive oil dispenser from Amazon. You just hold these little sides here and then it fills up up here and it has measurements on it. So it's super easy. In this instance, I could have just used the teaspoon that I just used for the vinegar, but if you just want olive oil in a pan, it's helpful. God, I love it. See it fill up. Oh, yeah, I love it. And then oh now you have God. two teaspoons. That's so fun. Isn't it? Then we're doing some Dijon mustard. I usually do not like mustard at all, but in here, I, I, I allow it, you know? All right, we're doing one teaspoon of Dijon mustard up in here. She's a chef. Yeah, I can do it all. Have you seen the trend on TikTok? It's like, and next time you call me talented, put multi in front of it. <laughs> We're gonna whisk those all together. Beautiful, should look like that. Salt and pepper, you can measure. She says one eighth of a teaspoon. I just put salt, thank you Benji. Salt and pep. Did this. Like, He's got the zoomies. Okay, once you have that all whisked together, throw it to the side. Throw it out, actually. I'm just kidding. We're doing one quarter of a red onion, so I'm just gonna take a little bit off of this. And we're gonna use like this much red onion. We're gonna slice it into little slivers. Peel it, slice off the end, cut off the other end, and make your thin slices. Wow. Isn't that, you That know, is a good fucking knife. You just, you can't, you can't eat it. Then. A little onion container too. I don't have those. My family just puts everything in a plastic bag. I know. I got sick of wasting them. You're right. I have an avocado one too. So many. It's so smart because we just wrap them and put them in a plastic bag and wrap them in, t in like tin foil. And I just got all the stuff, you know. Oh my god. All right. Make sure your onion is cut nice and thin and throw them into your bowl. Now I'm going to thinly slice up one and three fourths of a cup of cabbage. I'm just making rough little slices like this. This was already like pre-washed and everything. I just have it sitting in a container ready to go for when I want to make things like this. And yes, I do actually take out the measuring cup because I think that making these ratios right is what makes this slaw bomb. I like have to measure. Yeah, I feel like it just won't come out the same. All right, next we're gonna do a jalapeno and we're just gonna do thin slices. Okay, and before I put them into the bowl with everything else, I'm just gonna make sure that there's no seeds on them. I honestly just started cooking with fresh jalapenos and I love it, but I need to learn like, how do you de-seed a jalapeno, but also you want it in slices? I feel like there must be a way and I just don't know it. I guess maybe I could just take out the whole inside. Then it's not as cute. Okay, so this now calls for fresh parsley. I don't have, I'm growing it, but it's not there yet. So I've just been using dry and it tastes really good, but I'm sure fresh would be better. And I don't really measure it. I kind of just put it on there. When I feel like it's good, then it's good. Now you just toss everything together and it's just gonna become this beautifulness. You just smell it too, it's amazing. Okay, there you have it, you guys. This is what it should look like. It is so delicious, and now we put it in the fridge and make the chicken and let it chill while we cook the other stuff. Very simple, you guys. So I've got a shallow bowl, and we're gonna put one cup of panko breadcrumbs into there. Half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Trust me, that is enough. They were super spicy last time. And then some salt and a little bit of black pepper. Now we combine those. Now we are well combined. We're gonna take our chicken that has been marinating in the buttermilk or heavy cream, if you wanna use that. I'm just gonna take a pair of tongs and I'm gonna find the larger pieces that are good for a sandwich because Zane did like butcher a bone-in chicken thigh. I accidentally bought bone-in and skin-on when we usually get boneless, so. All right, this piece looks pretty okay. 
for a sandwich and since it's been soaking in the buttermilk you don't need to put it in egg or anything literally just coating it really really well and then right next to me right here i just have my air fryer basket that has already been prepped with olive oil spray so that they don't stick make sure it's like super super coated you want it to be super crispy beautiful just like that right onto your air fryer basket if you were doing it with the chicken breast, then you can like cut it perfectly to size on your bun, but this is just what we're dealing with today. We had to use up these chicken thighs because they were sitting and defrosted for so long they were gonna go bad. So we were like, might as well just use them for the sandwiches. I'm just gonna make all the chicken that we have prepped too because this could be good just by itself. You can have it for leftovers. You can like probably cut it up and put it in a salad. Like this is the best Sorry, you guys, I'm talking to nothing. This honestly is the best luck that we've had with a fried chicken in the air fryer. Like this actually does taste like a fried chicken in oil. At least on the sandwich with all like the toppings and stuff it does. I haven't tasted it like just as a piece of chicken, so. By the way, the last time that we made this, we marinated the chicken for like literally over a day we had it sitting in the fridge and this time we only did it for a couple of hours so i'll let you guys know if there was any major difference but i think that the longer you let it soak in that buttermilk then the like juicier it'll come out you know look at those you guys these literally come out like fried chicken they're so freaking good i ended up finding four pretty big pieces which is amazing this is exactly the size that you want on your sandwich and then the rest of them are kind of like smaller pieces i'm gonna do them like in another batch once these are done but we're gonna spray the top with olive oil and she says to cook them for about 14 to 16 minutes last time i think it took me maybe 18 minutes but i just make sure that they are always 165 so that the chicken is cooked through but make sure you turn them over halfway so that both sides get nice and crispy so I'm gonna do them for about seven minutes and then we'll flip over for probably about another eight to nine and they should be done you guys I know I cook a lot of things and I always tell you guys to try the recipes that I'm making and I always tell you guys that they're good but there's certain recipes like the carne asada fries that you know I tell you guys like you need to freaking make this and a lot of you guys made the carne asada fries it made me so happy this is pretty comparable I'm not gonna lie I genuinely urge you guys to make these sandwiches because they're so easy and they are so delicious. Seven minutes, starting now. I just realized that I completely, totally forgot to put potatoes in the oven because that's what we had on the side last time and it was really good. So when in doubt, mac and cheese. That goes well with fried chicken sandwiches. Potatoes would definitely be more healthy than box mac and cheese, but it's fine. These are serving their purpose. That's why we have them in the pantry for times like these when we just need a quick, easy side. Look how cute, you guys. So I'm breading the little pieces that are left over. And she actually has a recipe in her cookbook for chicken nuggets, so I can't think that they would be far off from this. So I'm probably just making another of her recipes without even knowing it. But they're like little tenders, kind of. They're gonna be so good. You just like dip them in barbecue sauce the next day for lunch. Yeah. This feeling, wasting no more time. Don't care about what you say. I literally have not even taken a, taken a bite yet. Dude, I was so hungry. Was it as good as last time? It was a sandwich earlier Wait, today. Was it as good as last time? Me too. Even better. And I'll tell you why. Really? What did we do last time with the buns? What do you mean? Oh, remember. the buns were fresher this time. Oh my I god. I think they were so frozen. Yeah, I think that's why. Yeah. These are amazing. But yeah, better than last time. Wow. I have Taylor watching um, Love Island UK because I wanted her to start watching it. It's interesting to hear it now, now that I know all the characters. I'm like on episode 13 or 14 or something. So seeing the beginning episode is pretty funny. Yo, babe, this might be one of my favorite recipes you ever made. I'm telling you, this is really good. I agree. I think it came out better than last time. It, did, it literally, right? but it just, last time was amazing too, but now it literally still just tastes like fast food. It tastes fast foody, like you get the satisfaction, but it doesn't taste bad. Food. Yeah, like you know a fancy. You feel your arteries get clogged when you eat fast food. It's like a fancy fried chicken sandwich. It's just tastes restaurant quality. Let's say that. It tastes like it was fried in oil, and it wasn't. You guys, look how much chicken we had left over. This is gonna be so bomb later at night. I mean, it is kind of late at night already, but there was one piece that didn't cook all the way through yet, so I have it in there. But lots of leftovers. We got more toppings left. Ugh, so good. Well, dinner was absolutely delicious. Again, if you guys make it, 
tag me on Instagram. That ish is so good. I just put in my retainer, brushed my teeth, and about to take off this makeup. I got into my nighty. This is from Amazon. So comfy and soft. And I'm going to bed. I'm so excited. Please forgive me on this one, but today's notification shout out goes to Jezebel Broncano. I love you so very much. Thank you so much for having on your notifications. It means so, so much to me. If anyone else would like a notification shout out, you can comment down below letting me know that you have my notifications turned on and you might be in my next video. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to donate with the link. I'm going to pin it in the comments. It's a great resource to donate, sign petitions, and all that good stuff for the Black Lives Matter movement. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye guys. I'm gonna figure out what to do with all my time. I know that I feel I don't wanna try again, try again, try again, try again